Well, a very good afternoon and welcome back to the IJF mat side sofa here at the World Championships in Tokyo. We're in the Nippon uh, Budokan, day four of competition, and the competition is in full swing uh, behind me here. And my two guests, I've got two guests from the International Judo Federation uh, Academy, uh, Envik Galea and Kozula Tibor. And I'll start with Envik. Good afternoon, Envik. Tell us a little bit about the program. Hi, Sheldon. Well, the academy uh, started being uh, organized on the wish of the president in 2012. In August 2013, Mr. Wieser announced it in the Congress in Brazil. And from then on, we never looked back. It started with only two courses with 12 people in twice, in a, twice a year. And uh, uh, then we arrived to a situation where today we're running courses of 22 weeks in, uh, uh, in a year. We have already 125 countries who are participating in the program. And uh, we are happy to say that the we're very busy. Uh, the, uh, the problem is that we expect the increase to be always uh, double. And uh, if that happens, we have to m make the, the academy grow bigger. Uh, we have around uh, 1,200 uh, uh, graduated students and 3,000 students who are on the course. And we started small, but it's getting bigger. The whole idea is that uh, since the 27th of uh, August last year, we received the license of a higher education uh, institute. So we're converting all the courses now to uh, uh, higher education at the different levels and the fifth level of the European qualification framework. This will give our coaches an academic qualification, which gives the opportunity to the coach to go out from his club atmosphere, to go in schools, to go in sports centers, because he becomes a professional. We also introduced also a management course, which already started on the 19th of August. Uh, this is a, a diploma level, at the fifth level, of uh, 60 credits, and it works around coaches who want to become more professional or administrators, and it gives them the opportunity to understand how to operate with committees, work with volunteers, uh, organize uh, fundraising on a professional way. Right? This is an introduction to the academic approach. We hope it will be become even bigger because we're already working on a master's level uh, in collaboration with our university in, uh, uh, in Hungary, the Physical Education University of Hungary, and we, until now, we're still in collaboration because all certification are issued by that university. But the moment we issue our own certification, then we will go to a step higher to work at uh, uh, academic at master's level. That all sounds uh, very good and that all fits in with the uh, history of judo uh, as an education, but now moving towards more as a professional qualification as well. So that's a, a very important thing. Tibor, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about some of the content of the program and what's happening now. We're happy to do that, Sheldon. Um, we have designed the programs that uh, the future coaches who receive the qualification from IGF Academy should know also more about the academic type subjects in general academic subjects like physiology and some uh, elements that uh, how the human body works uh, history of judo culture of judo that they can also explain uh, this uh, his historical uh, moments about Jigoro Kano for instance to the kids when they are training them and uh, of course uh, uh, the uh, all these uh, theoretical courses uh, as uh, Envic has mentioned, we are present in 125 countries. We run online using the latest technology. It's possible. So everybody is completing the online theoretical studies. And then if they are eligible, they can participate in the practical courses that has been mentioned before. Uh, the content we try to uh, put together based on our long experience in terms of education programs, especially for coaches, which is the minimum and what is the most useful content that uh, a coach should know. And, but of course, as we go higher from uh, uh, level one, we go to level two, level two is mainly for high performance coaches. Uh, that is more important to know more about training methodology, more important to know about periodization, and nutrition 
how to lose weight in a smart way, etc. So these are quite difficult subjects, tell you honestly, Shannon, because sometimes uh, uh, students are struggling. But this is the way how we have to be sure that a person who qualifies from the IGF Academy receive this uh, higher qualification, will know the job and will do a very good uh, uh, work uh, for the benefit of the judo uh, for all of us. It's, it's very thorough and al although you may have some students who come in and just by, by accident have, uh, have come across information on uh, nutrition or exercise physiology, this has to be um, uh, properly uh, laid out to them. They have to demonstrate that they've got a proper grasp of it in, in an academic way rather than just I happen to know it. Not, not only that, it's absolutely true, but we also put a very high emphasis on contextualizing to judo, like phys exercise physiology, any other uh, general academic subject. How does it work in judo? Of course you have to know the basis, but the judo application is the most important because now the coaches, the future students will understand much, much better in this way. So that is uh, not an easy job, but it's a very interesting and challenging job, to you honestly, and we are, in, I think, in a very good way. Okay, so Envic, let's say that I was uh, a coach and an aspiring, you know, to go up a couple of levels and I wanted to get involved in the academy. How would I go about doing that? The IGF is made up of national federations. They are the owners of the International Judo Federation. And we accept only mem uh, applications from the national federation. So uh, as soon as we give the notice for new legislations, and the next course will be starting in, uh, in February next year, uh, by December we send out the notice and they send the proper application uh, to join in. Oh, uh, we have to, I have to remember also to mention that the Academy collaborates also with other commissions. We've had uh, a very interesting meeting again with the uh, Children Commission, with Robert Hooks, who is working a fantastic program because m biggest membership in judo is children. Uh, he was up here the other day. I know, I know, I know, because uh, we, were, uh, he, we had the meeting after uh, again on how to contextualize also what they are doing on an academic basis. And we're also working also with the police commission. Uh, 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 not on the competitive side, but how to use judo in a uh, uh, safe way in their job, right? So this is a lot. We have also other projects coming up, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the um, uh, uh, master's level in, in, uh, uh, in uh, nutrition and, uh, and uh, uh, sports psychology, which is very important for judo. And also we have plans to introduce the uh, uh, journalist sector. For, uh, uh, on an academic basis. We I might be up for that myself. <laughs> technically, technically, we have everything ready, but we don't have the time. We have to find the time to go into it and put it all together. But you can look around, mentioning you, Loretta, and, and most of the photographers, they're all experts in the area, and we hope that those students will be given the opportunity in the judo tour to be able to start writing articles and making judo more popular. You know, it's, as they say, if uh, uh, you don't have the proper marketing going on, it's like winking at a nice girl in the dark. You know what you're doing, nobody else knows. <laughs> right, so just let me um, get this right, because there may be people out there who are in interested in, in, in following this. If you're a member of a national federation, you contact your national federation, and they can bring you through to the IJF, and from there, you'll be able if to... The if they don't know the federation, will ask us. And that's the best way, because... Uh, we don't want to create any archaic problems. We don't accept individual uh, directly because they form part of the Federation. This is funded by the IGF for members of the IGF. Okay, very well. Tibor, uh, a final word from you and what should someone who has this interest be looking out for? What would help them to prepare for coming to the Academy? Well, uh, I think uh, uh, after five years experience when we have started, we have we went through many experiences, many issues and many barriers. And now we are more or less uh, have a very good understanding about the structure, how should it work. And we have to uh, inform them, they have to understand that this is not a, 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 a weekend sandpit that they, they can just play around. It is a serious education matter. And we are, as we are the only international sports federation which has its own accredited 
education institution, we have also very high responsibilities towards the, uh, towards the authorities who have made an accreditation. We have to really keep everything in line. Be prepared. We welcome everybody and we help everybody. What Enric and the, uh, Daniel Alaska also, uh, or sports director, used to say when we go for a practical, we come here not to fail we, we, anybody. We come here to help everybody to pass. But you have to also do your part. So do your part, be prepared, come to us, and we have a beautiful uh, learning journey together. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen, and we will get back to the action. Thank you.